Hello and welcome to an episode in the Noch calendar. My name is Martin Tanrot and I've been given the opportunity to uh, be your host tonight. The video will focus on one of my favorite Noch items, namely the rock forming system and the profi compound which you fill the rubber molds with. You know, this system really gives you the opportunity to, to create realistic mountain sides. You know, looking back before they not introduced this, the only way to get a realistic rock side was by having significant carving skills. <laughs> And, you know, I've, I've, I've tried that so many times and, well, it's not all that easy. But with the costings, it's really easy. We're also gonna do some painting and paint them in different paint schemes so you get a feel for how you can color to adapt to the scenery you're building. And the molds I'm using in this video is uh, the Alpspitze 61231. Now, to get a good flow and uh, avoid air bubbles in the rock forming compound, we need to wetten this uh, form a bit. It also needs to be washed since last use. For this I'm using some uh, cleaning agent and water. And then it's wet and ready for casting. For this I use uh, 60918, the Profi casting compound. Now one of these packs contains one kilo of powder. Now this powder should be mixed with water. And the relation here is uh, one part water and three parts of this uh, powder. So I'm mixing the powder into the water. And to start with it could look a bit... Uh, like it's too much powder and uh, not enough water, but as you stir, you will notice that it becomes almost like liquid again. This is what it looks like. Continue to stir for another minute and then it's time to pour it into the rock molds. I typically don't fill the molds full, really. It's easier to place and divide these if um, they're a bit thinner, so that's what I do. Leave it to dry a few hours and then you can peel them out of the rubber forms. And they look something like this. Now I will assemble these on a mountain side, which I've yet not prepared. So here it is, and I will fix them to that uh, surface using hot glue. So for this I'm using my glue gun, and I fix them in place. Just hold them until the glue has cooled down somewhat. Now you see that it's an advantage to have them a bit thinner because otherwise this uh, mountainside will get very thick. That would require us to use more plaster as well. So leave that now to dry a few hours and then it's time to paint. For this I'm using the set of paints found in item number 61200, which is uh, acrylic paints in a range of different colors. As you see, when you pull them out of the pack, they need to be shaked or stirred before you can use them. And I'm going for this uh, gray. It's a kind of greenish gray, which I think gives a nice starting tone of the paint. Thin the paint with water and then it's just to dab paint onto the rock side. And continue until you have covered the entire surface. Then leave it to dry a few minutes and then add black. This is typically what I do that enhances the contrast. You can now leave this uh, to dry a few hours and then you're about ready with the, your rock side. But you can also add details to this. We're gonna do that in my area where I live. We typically have a lot of iron in the mountain. So most often when you see a rock side, it has a portion of red in it. To achieve that look, I am using a method called dry brushing where I dip my brush into the paint, but then wipe most of it off before I start applying it onto the rock side. This gives a very dim effect of that uh, 
color. We also most often have brown tones in the mountainside. So I'm also dry brushing on some brown streaks on and around those red streaks. Another common sight is chalk. Uh, most often where water has been running and you can also dry brush the white to enhance the contour of that rock side. With that done, it's just to apply some green stuff. This is uh, green grass, which I apply richly around the rocks like this. And we're ready. And this is what the final result looks like. Uh, this is what the mountains look in my area. You will have to go outside and check what colors you find on your rock sides before you start painting. So, I hope you liked this uh, video about the Noch rock forming systems, what it will do for you and how to paint it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.